Hello, my name is Torsha Veltizen, and this is Three Minutes with Bird Bouchard. He's the sports coordinator for Sport for All. So, Bird, what is Sport for All? Ah, well, Sport for All um, is a program that really tries to focus on barrier-free sports um, within the four neighborhoods that we currently have, which is downtown, uh, the downtown core, Glengarry Marentet. Um, we also have the um, Ford City neighborhood renewal. Um, and um, it, really what we just try to focus on, like I said, is barrier-free sports. So anything that might stop someone from being physically active, we try to tear down that barrier. Um, so, you know, growing up, whether or not you really have the, the income to play sports or, um, you know, maybe you're shy, um, trying to make friends, anything that really might be stopping someone from being physically active, we tear down that barrier. Um, so we actually offer sporting opportunities uh, and physical active opportunities six times a week throughout these four neighborhoods um, and we encourage everyone to do it. It's free of charge. Um, all the equipment's provided to you. We also have snacks, gift cards, things like that. Um, so that's really in a nutshell um, what our program is. Okay, and what kind of impact have you seen from this program so far? I mean, honestly, nothing but positive impact so far. Um, for example, every Tuesday and Thursday nights, we offer free floor hockey at Windsor Waterworld. Um, Tuesday nights from 6 to 7.30 and Thursday um, from 6.30 to 8.30. Um, and I mean, the positive impact that I've seen is, is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we've had guys come in and, you know, at the start, maybe they're a bit shy, um, you know, uh, a bit hesitant to, to learn the sport and, you know, Maybe they're also shy to make friends, but at the ending, you know, everyone's having a great time. They're making friends. Um, we have one kid, Sammy. He just always has the biggest smile on his face. Um, so, of course, shout out to Sammy if he's watching this. Um, but, I mean, the positive impact. We have people all the time coming in saying, thank you so much. Um, you know, um, it, it was so difficult throughout the summer to get my kid off the couch and you know they're a couch potato but but now they're being physically active they want to get out there they want to make friends they want to have fun while being while being physically active so that's the kind of positive impact that i'm currently seeing um, and i mean we're so thankful for it so how is sport for all funded uh, so sport for all is actually funded through an ontario trillium foundation grant um, we currently have it for three years um, and the grant kind of has us wanting to achieve a lot of different outcomes throughout year one, two, and three. Um, so as we move forward and progress uh, in the next couple of years, you're going to see us trying to create some, some tournaments um, to really kind of grasp the, um, to really kind of grasp the, uh, the, pardon me, the community engagement aspect um, and really get everyone together through a tournament style. And um, like I said, offer some barrier free sports. Great. All right. Well, I'm going to have to wrap this up real quick. So quickly, let us know how people can get involved and we'll just wrap that up. For sure. Um, so if anyone wants to get involved, uh, we highly encourage them to check us out on Facebook. Uh, it's all capitals, the word sport, space, the number four, and all. Um, and also, we, um, we also have our downtown office at uh, Wyandotte Street, um, which is right across the street um, from, or pardon me, uh, Kitty Corner to Bruce Park. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to get involved. We're always looking for volunteers. And like I said, it's free, it's a great cause, and I definitely recommend anyone to check us out. All right, great. Well, thank you for joining us. My name is Torsha Valtizen, and this has been Three Minutes with Bird Bouchard.